guys, welcome back to the doghouse. My name is Jessica. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, don't, you know, don't hesitate to give us a thumbs up. Maybe leave a comment if you want to ask a question. This is a video that I have not done um, in a while. It's it's a training video. I don't like to really put training videos out there like that are too informal because I do not I do not identify as a dog trainer as far as the public is concerned. Lila. Oh, hello. Definitely not a cat trainer, so there's that. Um, I do pretty, I do very well with my own dogs. I have trained dogs in the past. If anybody has watched any of my more uh, earlier videos, you, there I talk about a lot of that in those. Let me just, oh Lord. Um, <laughs> So anyways, um, I have a lot of dog experience. I have a lot of uh, animal handling experience. I have rehabbed uh, dogs and cats in my past. I have trained puppies to be service dogs uh, multiple times for multiple people. One of my last service dogs I trained was for my dad, uh, both have who have now passed away. But anyways, moving along. So as you can see, this is probably a video about Lila and I've put out a video before introducing her to the clicker. I am not used to using a clicker and so it's been a learning process for us both. She's doing really well with it. She's kind of a weird little dog. It's kind of been my, my first real challenge with a dog I've raised as a puppy. Does she kind of fall under the radar a little bit? Quite possibly, um, just because she's a little bit easier to manage without being hello, being fully like like controlled. I guess you would say she's kind of a little heathen. So, anyways, something that I have not really shared with a lot of people. Lila hates the leash. She absolutely hates the leash. I've done all my normal, typical ways of introducing a leash to a dog, and I'm gonna go ahead and do this because she's been focusing so much so well. I've done all my normal things. I've tried new things. I've tried, you know, I've tried multiple different things to get her used to the leash. Uh, will she walk on a leash? Yes. She absolutely hates it. Uh, getting her on a leash is not fun. Um, taking it off of her is not fun. And it's not that it's like the worst thing ever, but I don't want her feeling that way. She doesn't mind wearing a collar and she does mind when she wears a harness. When she wears a harness for, doesn't matter how long, she's just kind of like, you can tell she doesn't like it. She'll go about her day, but you can tell, girl. So, the only thing is taking them on and off is a chore, just like putting on and off a leash. I took a few steps back and I decided to throw in the clicker for the leash training. And then basically she's just, um, we're not even at walking on a leash as far as like the training, the more, uh, and for, like the more formal training goes. Um, and it, I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I'm still kind of new at what I'm doing. I'm trying to see what, how she reacts and if, if there's any improvement in the techniques that I'm, that I'm attempting. I'll show you kind of basically the first thing that I started with and it doesn't even include a leash. Right now I'm just treating her for kind of, just kind of like getting her ready, I guess, getting her warmed up. Um, I have her, a good portion of her meal in my treat pouch right now. It's just kibble and she is hungry. She All, all the dogs had today for breakfast were uh, filled, some good filled Kongs. So what I've been trying to do is just kind of like condition her to walk uh, to the side of me. So first, I mean, she knows like to, the whole sitting and focusing and getting ready, but I've been trying to just teach her more of like a lure concept. So I've been kind of, well now she's gonna sneeze. She's kind of getting, but she does this like obsessive sit the whole time as you might see. I want her. And at first this kind of started, she was so bad at it that she, like this is an improvement. Um, that she, one step I was clicking. She kind of stopped a lot, a little sooner than I wanted her to. I'd rather her stay stand. I'd rather click before she sits. Oh. Why are you 
see it. So, the reason why is I feel like this is important. Because I'm going to start luring her to what is known as what would be the heel position. She usually gets closer than this, but right now I'm accepting that. We haven't practiced in a few days. Very long. That was good. Long for her. <laughs> Doesn't seem like very long, but... See, she's kind of glued to that position, which is not what I want. And that's a kitty. You guys, can you not? See? Get out of here. Yes, I'm moving with her just a bit to pass and she adjusts. I don't like that adjustment. Layla's also the smallest dog that uh, I've ever trained and um, I don't have the best back or hips, so it's been a bit, that's been a part of the challenge. If you follow our Instagram, you will already have seen a small clip of this on my stories. Um, it's basically, come here. I do this, I try to do this because she hates this. Um, but yeah, I put this, I put a little clip of this on my stories. No, sir. Grim plots. And it kind of showed where I was with the act using an actual leash and putting it up to her. To her. So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna take off her collar. I know some people are gonna ask about the chain that is around Lila's neck. So this is her just normal, like little pleather, cute, fancy collar with her tag. So this here, as you can see how she already is get it, how she, look at that, this is what she does. She's never had a, a bad issue with me putting anything around her neck or head. So, this is she, this is the face she makes. It's just with anything. Not just this, anything around her. She, <laughs> now it's party time, she's free. So this is a Martingale chain. Um, it's actually really nice. It's kind of a, um, it's basically like old school, like show dog situation. And I love Martingales. I like, prong I use prongs. I'm pro all that fun stuff. A flat collar and uh, I have also have a slip collar for her. It's like a rounded rope slip collar. Uh, those will choke her. This will not choke her like it looks like it would or like you guys think it would um, or like a lot of people think that it does. It doesn't choke. So the flat collar puts 100% pressure on the trachea. Where'd you go, Lila? I've got a slip collar as well. So it's like a little slip slip lead but it's got it's a really nice tight uh, rounded quality rope style um, with really nice uh, links here I don't know, I don't know, rings is what you would call it um, it's just like a little it's almost like the choke chain situation I, I've put it on Dexter I've used it on her for like guidance a little bit with leash training um, but again these can choke um, these will these will choke actually choke um, flat collar not ideal harness she doesn't like it and when I have the harness because it clips on the back of her when the leash in the least bit leap starts to if she stops and I'm still walking at all okay poppy she freaks out because the leash then goes from this to laying over her head and it's just now she's frozen and it's not a, it doesn't work and don't get me started on front clip harnesses they don't exist in my house and never will you want to put your chain on and show everybody your chain your dreaded train chain such a bad thing huh come here so um 
Like I was saying, the Martingale, just like a cloth one, just like this kind, is uh, really nice because it applies pressure all around the neck. It's actually safer. So there's a prong collar. I'm not gonna put a pinch collar on her. She does not need that. I know that. Um, come on. So I also remember, um, I started to remember a few months ago, like why she might be this face shy. Uh, when she was born and her eyes started to open, that she actually had uh, something wrong with one of her eyes, or with her eyes. She had a little bit of an infection as soon as they opened, it seemed like. And I don't know if it was like an allergic reaction to the bedding they were in or whatever, um, but she had to have eye drops super early on in life, so that was a constant bugging the eyes, bugging the eyes. Um, she's got a tiny little scar on that eye, which is not an issue. It's already been checked by a veterinarian. But I believe that is a part of her like eye sensitivity. So there's that. So I think that's kind of where this started. But we're not gonna care because that was the past and um, it's now the present and I'm not here to destroy her eyes. All I'm doing is taking her tiny leash. I mean, come on now. Uh, and I'm going to, I'm just putting it up to her. She reacts okay to it. I click. I did start this. This is where we are right now. First of all, I had her near the, had the leash near her, like on the floor, right? Okay, so, and I would treat for that. And then I had her walking around it and over it, getting near it and being okay with it, um, making it positive and then we, now we're here. We're, and I also made her touch it with her nose. So she had to go towards it. Okay, so now we're at the point, the scary part, the jingly jingle part of it. And it was, so now it's like that. Good girl. Hey, get out of here. and let it hang. And I'm gonna try to practice the same like walking uh, ritual we just did. Just letting her drag it. What you do it? So there you have it. This is kind of why it was like the little next step that we had to get to and I decided to film it for you. That's um, Lila's next step uh, with the leash training. Um, I do hope to do more training videos coming up here and there. Of course, I like I said, I am not a, I don't consider myself a professional dog trainer. I believe that that is a very big responsibility. I can, do I have a lot of good advice? I believe so. It's a lot of things have worked for me. Leave your comments down below. I will be down there to talk and I hope you guys like this video. I know a lot of people just like to see Lila, so here she is. And some kitties and a little grim back there. Um, come, okay. For to release. Now you wanna be involved? Did you just realize, oh, the camera's there? All right, anyways. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next video without Grimm's elbow. And maybe we'll get a little training video with Grimm just kind of show you where he is. Cause I kind of forgot that we did do some like puppy training, a little bit of puppy training videos with him. So we'll see, we'll see. I hope you guys enjoy this. See you guys next time.